Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you everyone? I hope you are all in a good condition and ready to study about verbs. Today you are going to learn about the definition of verb, the examples of verbs, and the categories of verbs. Dear students, do you still remember about part of speech? If you remember, one of the part of speech is verb. So what is verb? Let's talk about its definition. A verb is a word that shows action or links a subject to another word in a sentence. Here we'll take a closer look at more examples about verbs. Dear students, you can see that these illustrations represent verbs such as smile, clean, sleeping, and eating. From these examples, we know that these there are four various types of verbs. Let's now identify verbs in sentences. Dear students, here are examples of verbs in sentences. Can you guess which ones are the verbs? Yes, you're right. The verbs are identified by the bold in the sentences. So, in the sentence, the boy was smiling when he was enjoying ice cream. The verb is what? Was smiling, correct. And in sentence number two, I'm cleaning my kitchen. So, what do you think is the verb? Yes, I'm cleaning. And in the third sentence, the cat is sleeping very soundly. In this case, the verb is what? Yeah, is sleeping, right. And in sentence number four, he ate his food in a fast food restaurant. What is the verb of this sentence? Yeah, the verb is the word ate. So from the examples, we can see that there are several categories of Verb. So, what are those categories of the verbs? Now, let's look at them. The categories of verbs can be seen in this diagram. If you see the diagram, there are two big categories of verb. That is action verb and linking verb. You can also see that the action verb is divided into two more categories, transitive and intransitive. And finally, the linking verb can be divided into two more categories, linking B and non-B. To make it more clearly, let us discuss about these categories one by one. We are going to start with action verb. What is action verb? Action verb is a verb which tells about what the subject is doing. There are two types of action verb. Number one, transitive verb. And number two, intransitive verb. What is transitive and what is intransitive verb? Now let us discuss more about these two types of action verb. What is transitive action verb? If we look, if we look at the definition of transitive action verb, it means uh, the verbs which need an object or object. Here are the examples. Some students did their assignment seriously. In this case, you can see that the verb did need an object. That is their assignment. In sentence number two, many people bought groceries before the lockdown time. If you can see, the verb bought here needs an object, groceries. And in the third sentence, the lecturers prepare material seriously before the class. What is the verb of this sentence? Prepare. Yeah, correct. And what is the object? Material. You are correct again. So the verb here needs an object, material. So that's why we call transitive verb because the verb needs an object or objects. Now, what about intransitive action verb? So, 
So let's look at the definition. Intransitive action verbs are the verbs which do not need an object or objects. Here are the examples of this type of a verb. In sentence number one, some musicians were sleeping in front of a shop. If you pay attention, the verb here were sleeping, do not need any object. And in sentence number two, many people stay at home during COVID-19 pandemic. The verb here, stay, and it does not need any object. And in sentence number three, the cats walk quietly among the people. The verb walk here also does not need any object. So that is intransitive verb. Now, what about the linking verb? Linking verb tells us what the subject is and not what the subject is doing. So a linking verb is called a linking verb because it links the subject to a subject complement. How many types of linking verb? As I mentioned before, there are two types of linking verb. The first one is linking verb B and the other one is linking verb non B. What are the differences between these two linking verbs? Now let's talk about this in more detail. So this is the illustration of linking for B and non B. As you can see in the example of he is a monster, the word is is called linking for B. On the other hand, on the example of he looks stunning, the word looks is called linking for non B. So what are the functions of this linking for in the sentence? Do you still remember? Yes, you are right. They are telling about the subject. Now let's talk about the examples of this type of linking verbs in more details. Well, dear students, if you can see these examples, you can read that in sentence number one, he is angry with me. Which one is the linking verb? Is it linking verb B or non B? And in sentence number two, her face is glowing. And then in sentence number two, the students are yelling loudly. So from number one, number two, and number three, you can see that the type of verbs used here are linking verb B. Can you find more examples? Well, now let's talk about the examples of linking verb non B. Number one. He seemed angry with me. Number two, her face looks tired. Number three, the teacher appeared calm after listening to the good. So now, what do you think about these examples? Can you see the differences with the previous one? Right, okay. Well, dear students, as I told you before, verbs are divided into several types depending on its time context. There are five types of such kind of verb. Number one, it is called bare form or verb one. And number two, it is called as the past form of verb. And number three, it is called as verb three or it is called as past participle. And number four, it is called as a verb ing or present participle. To make it more clearly, let's look at the example in the following slides. Can you see that? Yeah. Can you see that these verbs are different? And do you know how to use this verb? If you can see the table, for example, from line one, you see the verb uh, in the form of infinity, past. And then in the form of present, past or passes, depending on the subject. And in the form of uh, past tense, it will be past. 
and in the form of verb 3 or past participle, it will be past, and in the form of present participle, it will be passing. And if you can see in the second line from the, uh, from the verb expect, you can see that the infinitive form is to expect, and then the simple present is expect or expects, and in the past simple expected, and then in the past participle, uh, or in the inform first, it is uh, expecting, and finally in the past participle, it will be in the form of uh, expected. Right. Okay. So, uh, dear students, that's all my explanation about verbs, and I hope now you are familiar with the definition of verbs, and you also familiar with the example of verbs, and you also familiar with the types of verbs. And this is our final discussion about verbs. Enjoy your rest of the day and I'll see you again in the topic of adjective in the next meeting. Thank you for your attention and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.